Hi everyone and welcome back to the Simplify OpenTX series. This is going to be a short video introducing like the next subsection of videos which is going to be about logical switches. So the first thing we're going to do is look at what is a logical switch. So we're going to look at what is a logical switch first of all. So the way to think of logical switches is that they are very similar to a physical switch. You you put it in a position and then it activates something. So at the very basic level, that's all these things are doing. So I'm just in companion now. And as you can see, there's no logical switches. But all these things are doing is you have a function on this side, which is saying, for example, if this is equal to that, then the switch is active. So it on a very very basic level that's that's how they work so i could actually show if i use an and switch what this means is if this and this and potentially this is all act is all true so it's all switched on then the main switch itself is switched on but as you can see there's nothing in here yet so that's switched off so if we put it so that say switch sa is in a position and then if we go in the simulator so as you can see up here, we've got a readout for logical switch one, which is if SA is in a certain position, if we move SA into that position, it switches on. If it moves away, it switches off. It's as simple as that. All that gets more co complex is the logic behind it. So we'll be looking in this series at different types of logic. But I just wanted to do a brief overview of what a logical switch actually is just to get that out there. So in the next video, what we're going to be looking at are these switches here, which are all when A is interacting with X. After that, we'll look at possibly some of these, which are more traditional logical switches. Um, if you're of a computer background, you'll understand what these switches are. We'll also, in a video, be looking at edge, timer, and sticky together. And then we'll be looking at the, the remainder here when um, A is interacting with B and when D is interacting with X. So the, the plan with this series is I want to be able to show you with examples. So when we do, for example, A equals X, I'll come up with a real world example of when those switches would be used. So to try and get a, a, you know, a bit more understanding in there. So that's coming up. This, as I say, this is a very short video. So the next video on the A and X switches will actually be out today as well. So look out for that and I'll see you shortly. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And to keep up to date with when the next videos in the series come out, please hit the bell icon. Thank you guys, fly them like you stole them.